Have you ever wanted to really develop your Camtasia skills? Or perhaps if you already use Camtasia, would you like to get your level up to say an intermediate or even advanced user? I've built a six part course that will take you through Camtasia, through everything in Camtasia and take you right up to an advanced level. My name's Russell Stannard. I've been using Camtasia since 2006. I've won several awards for my work building educational videos. And these days I build educational videos for a variety of clients. Uh, perhaps the best known uh, client of mine is National Geographic. This video is part one. It's an introduction into what Camtasia can do. It's going to give you a really good taster of what Camtasia has to offer. If you're looking for another part of the course, I'm going to put a link to the six part playlist and you can access the different parts of the course. I'll also put the playlist in the description below and along with that playlist, there's a link where you can download and test Camtasia for four weeks for free. Really hope you like the course and thank you very much. Please like, subscribe and comment on the videos. Thank you. So I'm actually making this video with Camtasia 2022 and straight away, even at the beginning of the video, you I saw this. Ten of my favorite features. How did I do this? Now, this is what I like about the new version of Camtasia, is that many of these little animations have been created for us. All we need to do is to change the text. So we have this new section or expanded section called library and there are lots more assets in 2022 and I've already really started to make quite a lot of use of them because they can save me so much time. And I'm just going to show you a couple that I already use right at the beginning of this video. If I drag this one and let me just move the playhead to an empty space and you can drag it onto the screen or you can drag it onto the timeline. It really makes no difference at all. And look at this. Straight away, a little animation, and all I need to do is to come over to here. I can actually play around with various settings in terms of font sizes and colors, but all I'm gonna do is simply change that text, and let's say, for example, put the name of my organization, which is Teacher Training Videos. Okay, I mean, whether it's the introduction, the introduction of a chapter, or whether you're adding a title, just change the text, it immediately updates on the screen, and now we've got our little indicator with text. And obviously you saw me use that here as a way of kind of starting the chapter, but we also used it as well in the introductory video a couple of times on the screen here, as I was using it in a kind of what we call a call out, that is to emphasize a point. So that is a feature that I really like in the new version of Camtasia 2022. There were previously lots of assets as well, but there are just way more um, assets available to us now uh, when we're working with Camtasia 2022. Now, another feature that's been improved, if we just quickly come down to the annotations, there's always been these draw tools, and I really like these. And if we just drag one onto the screen, let's imagine that in the video we're talking about evaluation, and so we want to emphasize it. We can drop this draw to one, and then we can click on it, and obviously play it, but we've got the option as well to kind of update and change the color um, of it, for example, if I wanted to make it into kind of a yellow color, really useful, and you'll see in my videos that I make use of that really a lot, and often my customers request that I use that. Now, it's another feature that they have improved in Camtasia 2022. So this is actually an example from a recent video I did. I went down to the library. It's in a really nice section called Expressive Animations. Again, this is using Camtasia 2022. And I like this one. It was a just a nice highlight draw tool that's now been added in. And it just was perfect because I was talking about the courses that I offer and which ones are open for enrollment at the moment. And I simply added that little feature 
and you can see it in action there and I kind of like this little pencil that comes onto the screen I'd probably position that a little bit better so these draw tools are really useful and I must say I use them a lot in my own videos okay now this next feature is another one that often clients ask me for I really like it if I'm doing training for example and that training focuses on working with say a smartphone or working with a desktop and so therefore maybe what I want to do is contextualize the video as if it is already sitting inside of a desktop or it's sitting inside of an iPhone and if we come down here and I'm going to show you how easy it is I've got a little bit of video on the screen here with me introducing thing, something onto the screen and I'm going to come down and click on more and I'm going to click on visual effects and what I love about this is how easy it is to use as well and all I'm going to do is come down to frame device and drag it onto the screen and immediately it adds the video into a frame device now one of the nice things about working with Camtasia is that we've actually got a choice of frame devices and for example one that I commonly use is the MacBook Pro but also if I'm doing training for example with technologies that are going to work on a on a smartphone or an iPhone then I can click here and I can place it within a device frame and that's a really useful feature that I make a lot of use of Please like, subscribe and comment on the videos. Thank you. The next thing I want to focus on is the cursor. I'm going to show you a few updates with the cursor. This first one I think is really useful. You can see here a video that I've got on the screen. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. And if we play that, you'll see that the cursor is moving around on the screen, but it's not very big. Now, one of the nice things that they've done now in the latest version is giving you the ability to increase the size of the cursor. So if I come over here now and click on cursor properties, you'll notice that you can scale the cursor and make it a lot bigger. So if you really want to make it clear at some point, or generally you think the cursor isn't that clear on the screen, you can do that. Now, of course, we can also do all the old effects that we did before of dragging the highlight onto the screen. And in this case, since we've got a kind of yellowish color background, we might want to change the color of the cursor to make it really clear uh, you've got all of these features still available, which I continually use. I often set the opacity of the cursor down to about 60 so that you can just slightly see through it and see what's behind. But this ability now to make the cursor larger on the screen is a really useful feature. And it's one of a few changes that they've made when it comes to the cursor options that are available now in Camtasia 2022. Now originally I wasn't really a fan of the transitions, that is a nice transition that helps you to move from one video to the next. But over the years these transitions have become better and better in uh, Camtasia and I actually really make a lot of use of them these days. I'm going to point out some of the ones that I like but also I'm going to show you a nice little trick if you suddenly decide you want to train, change your tra transition. So, First of all, you have to just mark the two videos. So we're just gonna trans look at a transition from here to here, make it a little bit more interesting. What I will do is make that full screen just so that it kind of fits nicely onto the screen. So we've got this video and then we've got this one and we want to move from the one to the other. If we come over to the transitions here, you'll see that there are absolutely masses of them, but there are a few that I particularly like. First one I'm gonna show you is this, card swap. This works really well and um, in fact, uh, I've been using this one recently for a video that I've been making for a client. Let me just show you how that one works. Let's move a little bit closer so we don't take too much time to watch the video. Click, lovely and straight in. Really like that feature. Now a little trick, if we just zoom in, you don't need to delete these if you decide that you want to try and work with another one. Just click on them, come over to here, and you can see all the options that you've got. Now, I'm a big fan of these 3D ones. There are masses, but I like these ones particularly. The one that you'll often see me using is Cube Rotate. Let me show you this. So this is another transition, probably the one that you'll see most on my videos. 
Love that one. That works really well. Have to be a bit careful when you're working with transitions. Always try them out, see if they work with that particular video. And um, it's a really nice feature and one that's developed a lot over the years in Camtasia. At the beginning of this video, you saw me using that 3D effect where you can see me on the screen, but you can see an interesting background rather than this green screen. And I want to take you through this. So if you can see here, what I've done is I film myself with a green screen. And if you film yourself and get the lighting right, this is actually very easy to do. All I need to do is I'm going to drag that up another level. And all I need to do now is add a background. So if I come over to my media and I've got an example here and I'm going to drag this background onto the screen. Simple as that. Now at the moment you can't see anything because at the moment it simply looks like that I am completely over the screen. But what I can do here what I can do now is come down to visual effects and it's so easy to do this drag remove color onto the screen and then choose the color that you want to remove now as you can see that's fairly well lit so it's more or less equal so if I click here and say well I want to remove this green color suddenly the background is now available and it looks as if I'm sitting in front of this video and if I play it you'll see the effect working is around the world. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you 10 of my... Now what I like about that is the ease with which you can do that. And if I just take that colour remove out again, so I'm just going to take it out. The secret to this is to make sure that you've got a green screen behind you and that you've lit it very equally, that you've got good lighting so that it, when you delete the colour, it immediately recognises that green color right throughout the whole of the image and it deletes it. Now I've actually done a video about green string that goes through it in much more detail and if you want to watch that video it's on the screen now. So this is a video that I'm currently actually working on at the moment and you'll notice one thing on this video is that I'm here I'm explaining about the use of a particular website in the training video. And what I want to do is I want to, I want to kind of pan in because it's not very clear on the screen. This is one of the features that I most like in Camtasia and I really like the way it works. I'm gonna come down here and the one that we're looking for, if we just click on more, is we're looking for animations. And watch this, it's a really clever technology. I'm gonna spring the video in closer and notice that I can kind of angle it exactly the way I want it. So for example, I want it about there. And then I'm gonna play the video through uh, until I get to the point where I actually want to focus out again. So right through, I'm quite happy with that. But now what I'm going to do is it comes towards the end of the video. I'm going to click on Scout to Fit and it will jump back out of the focus. Now what that means is that you can really come in close on things, as you can see on the screen now. And obviously I'm talking through. And then towards the end of the video, I zoom out. Now I'm going to do that on a lot of these videos because on a lot of these ones I'm going into detail about certain things. This is another example where I might want to, again, about here in the video, I might want to focus in again. So again, I'm going to bring the focus in. I'm going to move it so that I'm focusing on exactly the area that I want the to highlight. Again, I'm going to then kind of work through the video and then there's going to come a point where I want to focus out again because I can see the cursors going off the screen. I'm just going to come from here and I'm going to click on scale to fit so that it then comes back out again. And this is really powerful in terms of the way that I can work by focusing in and out of a video. And it works really well in terms of the way it plays. Just let me click on that and just show you very quickly if I play a little bit of the video that as I move over I log straight in, focus right in onto the screen so you can see it really clearly what I'm doing. And if we move to the end of the video here, you'll see again it zooms zooms out and that's a feature that I use a lot when I'm making videos. There really are so many tools that I make use of when I'm making my videos, particularly if I'm working for a client and they've got certain requirements. The obvious thing that I haven't really covered at all in this 
video is the audio effects. And if you want to learn more about some of those audio effects, I'm going to put a link to a video now on the screen that will give you a lot more information about the audio effects that are available. Another key area that I've not really had the chance to talk about because I've only covered 10 things in this video is working with webcam. And there are so many things that you can do with webcam. And again, I'm going to add a video onto the screen now that if you want to learn more about the webcam options that are open to you you can click on that video so it's always a problem choosing the best 10 I'm gonna choose as number 9 the blur and pixelate features because when you make videos for clients particularly if you're making say videos with young learners you often need to pixelate images you often need to pixelate or blur email addresses names bank account details sometimes if you're doing a video about for example banking or using a credit card and you can do this really easily click on the annotations come up to the special features we've got two options here they both work really well you can pixelate and again you've got control of how much you pixelate the image and I, I probably use this in every single video that I make and you also have the blur option as well sorry this one here let's get the right one and the blur option again the same thing you can increase or lower the intensity of the blur so again depending on how how big or small the text is you can actually reduce that blur so the blur and pixelate are two tools that I use all the time so it was very difficult to decide what was I going to choose as my tenth tool but I decided on showing you the voice narration tool because often if you want to talk over pictures or diagrams in other words you haven't got voice narration because it's just simply a picture that you brought into Camtasia then the, no the voice narration feature is really useful simply come down to voice narration click on it it really couldn't be simpler position your playhead where you want to start the voice narration click on the button Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Click on stop and you've done your recording. That simple. Now, the other nice thing about voice narration is that I often use it when I'm doing really problematic editing where I've made a mistake in my own voice in the original video then I will often cut out bits of audio and re-record them. Now what I have done is make a video on using Camtasia showing you 10 time-saving features in Camtasia. And if you want to access that video, which is quite a popular one, then click on the screen now. I've added that onto them. Hope onto the screen. Hopefully you found this video useful. 10 features that I use um, now that we've got Camtasia 2022, I must admit there's going to be many more than 10 features. There are some great additions in Camtasia 2022, but certainly all of those features are features that I use to make really professional videos. Okay, really hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you want the next part of the course, remember you can access the complete playlist below. There's also the option to download Camtasia 2022 for free and use it. And on the screen now, I'm gonna add the next part of the course. Thank you very much.